Surging in popularity, drones and unmanned aircraft are the newest eyes in the sky. While technology is rapidly evolving, so are their uses. Well, Fox 28's Brooks Jarose tonight shows us the new system that's been developed in central Ohio to keep you and our military safe. This is Drone Track 6. We have two certified pilots. One operates the drone, the other works the camera underneath. They do safety checks, they have flight restrictions, they have rules. But if those drone rules are broken, there aren't many plans in place to protect people and property. Columbus, Ohio from the air, most people not knowing, unaware of the eyes in the sky. Cameras mounted on drones. Federal aviation data shows hundreds are registered in Ohio. But city, county, and federal law enforcement officials cannot point to anything aimed at stopping unmanned aircraft wanting to do harm. It is a growing need. It is growing just as fast as the, as the drone proliferation is growing. Dan Stam and Alex Morrow work at Battelle. They're engineers, inventors, and dreamers. We had a kind of a brainstorming session, coming up with different ideas, throwing anything was open. Because they've seen drones get in the wrong hands and put people and property at risk. In Seattle, a rogue pilot went into restricted airspace, having close calls with TV news choppers. Here in Ohio, drones have been used to drop drugs at two prisons, right over the fence in Mansfield. And overseas, terrorist groups like ISIS strapping on homemade bombs to release on ground troops. In some cases, killing soldiers. That's what these two we want to stop. It's been able to get it to soldiers uh, and, and saving lives. That's been driving me personally a lot harder than I normally would go. It resembles a rifle developed here with Alex's experience in optics and Dan's experience with military defense systems. These are two different types of antennas. It's uh, called the drone defender. The goal is to jam the signal between the drone and its pilot using frequencies to disrupt. That requires approval from the Federal Communications Commission has made testing difficult and limited. We weren't confident that it was going to work and you have I had 50 people watching in a field. The first time they were allowed to try it out was in front of government employees and potential buyers. Dan aimed the drone defender at the aircraft and pulled the trigger. And at that point everything goes black. Disabled, the drone is supposed to return to where it came from, hover or land. It did just that. I was ready to do some cartwheels and jump and yell and holler and everything else. It worked, simply and effectively. While you and I can't get one yet, we wanted to get a closer look. We went to Battelle's West Jefferson campus to do a simulation. So we've spent a long time in the desert uh, staring out in the sky for hours on end. Um, this kind of feels like that. This is home, baby. Right now, because of federal restrictions, only the U.S. government or foreign militaries can buy a drone defender. That's because GPS and signal disruption is regulated by the federal government. Local and state law enforcement have to rely on other options. Some inventors came up with this. Skywall fires a capsule containing a huge net and a parachute. Where a large net nabs an enemy drone. Or trained falcons that snatch a rogue drone from the sky. But those defense tools require a closer range. Our effective range would be almost double. Dan and Alex say they can take control of an unmanned aircraft that's barely visible. As Dan perceives the threat, he engages it and the aircraft then goes into its lost link protocol. Meaning the drone is safely brought down and if necessary, pull a second trigger to interrupt GPS navigation so the drone can be captured. They hope Congress will help loosen restrictions on their creation so local police can protect, especially with drones being modified like this one where guns were mounted, or another with a flamethrower on board. Safety in the skies is their top priority. It's a really rewarding experience. The fact that we can do some really amazing things here in central Ohio is, is really, uh, I'm really proud of that. Now there's a push to expand on their technology and aim to detect and track unmanned aircraft nearby to stop potential threats and keep our military and our communities safe. Brooks Jarose, Fox 28 News.